right, so this is a 1968 red face. Uh, I've known of this machine for about seven years, sitting outside. Poor thing. There's her seal or her number. She, uh, she a little rough. <laughs> Still has the original kick down, original air bath, manifold shot. You see daylight through that bad boy right there. Not good, there it is, daylight. She's locked up tight right now. She don't move at all. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull the plugs, throw some juice in her, and see what we can see. There's the backside of her, no radiator cap. I don't see anything in there. Tank looks good. I think it's oil, but other than that, smells like oil but it's clean so I mean there's no rust in there at all I will clean all that out before I put fuel in it she gonna get some love uh, I got the doors for it they're good the hood she's a little rough she's got some cancer and some spots I don't know if I even want to try to repair that or just make a new one every time you tap on this thing so I'll keep you updated. Just pulled the battery tray out. I ain't seen one with a top like that in a while. Warranty says she's due in uh, probably 84 or 85. So that's 38 years, because it's 2023 now. Uh, yeah, great. Scary. So I got a plug out here. Champion D16. It's wet, because I had to use PB Blaster to get it out. But it doesn't look like it was running too bad before it wasn't anymore. But boy, that gap is small. I don't know about all that. Oh, looks pretty good. Get a flashlight out here. Doesn't look too bad down in there. It don't look too good either, but we'll see. Suckers are tight. good I'll have to let them soak for a while before I can get them out oh man okay so plugs are out this first one she so happy there's some garbage in there focus that one <clears throat> Number two, got some yuck in there. <clears throat> Probably the best out of all of them. So, number four, looks clean. Three, there's a pile of rust underneath the spark plug two got a little bit of nasty in there and one also has a big pile of rusty nastiness in down in there oh man all right so more than likely you got stuck valves and whatever else stuck i'm gonna pull magneto carb intake i'm gonna pull the cover off of the main brushes and the cover off of the stator and take a look at that make sure that's all free and go from there I need to get to the cover back here 
for the valves. So I really don't want to mess with that manifold yet because I'm pretty sure every bolt in it's going to break off. And also pretty sure that's a head bolt that it's not good. I don't know why that's loose. Everything else seems to be okay, but I'll get back with you. Alright, so that's the exciter brushes. I uh, got plenty of meat on both of them. They look okay, but that obviously hasn't moved for a long time. Wow. You see inside there. Wow. Alright. This uh, here, they're black just because they haven't moved, covered in dust. And while I was here, I happened to notice the ground strap here going to that lug right there. It looks like somebody tightened it up so much it's actually touching there. So that's probably why this thing quit working. She's a direct ground, direct short. Not good. Uh, the little real stat guy over there, there's a couple of wires broken. Let's check it out. All right, you can kind of see him right there. There's two wires, maybe three that are broken. Or like that. The rest of it looks okay, other than just being rusty crusty. So look at the brushes on this side. Wow, junk all over it. Let me back the light off a little bit. That's what fell out of the bottom of it. She's pretty dirty. Need some love. Poor old girl. Alright, so I got the valve cover off. Oh, it's full of rusty yucky. Oh man especially this side but that's where the vent is at on the valve cover that's what came out of the valve cover uh, I found a spare spark plug uh, I don't think that one's gonna be any good so so far intake carburetor idle control valve cover covers for that this is what I have in the cylinder right now or the cylinders and she's soaking uh, she's a little rough not bad this one I cleaned up with a wire brush she don't look too bad so I'm gonna clean all this out Spray some PB blaster on everything and see if I can't get this thing to free up without pulling the cylinder head off, but that's probably next. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's not good. Take sides are good. Exhaust is not. Takes are good. Exhaust is not. Same thing on the engine. Oh man, intakes are good. See them in there. Exhaust is not. Dang it, man. Dang it. Oh, looks like we're pulling the head off from here. Dang it. Oh, that could be a problem. That's what they're supposed to look like. Uh, intakes. Intakes look pretty good. Or I can see it. There we go. Exhaust, not so much. That's not good. That's uh, not good. Intake. See, that's what it should look like, that. That one's pretty good. Uh, not good. Yeah, this is bad. All right, so cylinder head off. That one's holding liquid, so those piston rings are stuck. These three are not. Still don't look good. 
This is the only one that had an exhaust valve open. No broken bolts. Some of them didn't screw. Some of the studs did come out of the block. No broken bolts. Yay. It pays to soak these things for a while and let them sit. So here's the cylinder head. Looks pretty good, just dirty, not bad. No scoring on the cylinder walls, nothing crazy. There you can see a little tiny bit of surface rust. That one looks really nice, so uh, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull the motor and generator out of the frame and get that guy on an engine stand and work on her, see if we can't free it up. So uh, that's where we're at. So stripped to the frame, there's the motor, the generator, draining the oil out of her right now. Still got a little bit in there. So here's another look here. I vacuumed some of the gunk away, so that one's still holding water, meaning it's still seized. These other three, the stuff I put in there drained through, so those are all unstuck. So next thing is to split these two, take that apart, and get this guy on a motor stand where I can flip it over and pull the pan and go from there there's a pile of parts all that nonsense there's a thing Delco <laughs> she's seen better days poor thing so come back when I got this thing on a stand I got a few things to run around and go do before I do that so she's gonna sit here for a while All right. so got motor apart from the generator I gotta get some bolts for that that way we can get this guy on the stand here's a look at the generator Oh my god, look at the dirt. Oh shit. Man. There's that guy. Fins. Backing plate. Oh. Exciter coil. Main coil. Cylinder head. Parts. Parts and more parts. Uh, let me go get some bolts. We'll get this guy bolted up and on the stand. All right, so there's that. Look at the sludge. Oh my god, that's got to be half inch thick at least, maybe more. You can see it here. It's kind of yuck it's like gel <laughs> uh, got some surface rust on the rods and crank there's some more of the sludge you can see the yuck down in there on that just from moisture being in here and the number two down in there let me get the light better There we go. So there's some surface rust on the cylinder wall in there. But the other side of it looks okay. There we go, focus. So the cylinder wall doesn't look too bad on that side, but it does have some rust on this side. So let me clean that up, see if I can't get that freed up and clean all this mess out. Yuck. see she kind of yeah she's a little crusty I don't think she's been touched in a while wowie zowie All right, so 
Magneto, Governor, timing covers all off. They don't look too bad. Looks like there's a couple of chips out of the teeth right here. But all the crazy rest just wipes right off. So it's not even really bad. Tomorrow, do the water pump governor off of this thing and start pulling the crank out. That'll be fun. All right, so this is the 68. That was the number two piston stuck. The rest of them look like that. They're all good. Everything's numbered, so you ain't gotta freak out on me. The crank moves. Yay. But it only goes so far because of the cam. All four exhausts are stuck. So I gotta get those guys out now. That's next. You see that one moving. Yay. All right. So this is the 68. There's the crank. I got a little, a little bit of marking on there, but it's nothing that I can really catch my finger on. It's just, I don't know, color more than anything. This has all been cleaned. There's the rest of the parts. Pistons. This was the number two. I got all the rings off of that finally. So now I can start putting this thing back together. Well, not quite yet. So here's the block. She's empty now. There's a little bit of. This is just surface rust because I washed it. But you can see. In there the valve guides kind of missing the top half of it um, I have these parts coming so that'll be soon I got to replace all of those <clears throat> other than that this thing looks pretty good um, I got a hone coming to just a little update this has all been cleaned outside uh, just food for thought so this is a 1323 and three three yeah, three three five six zero eight for the motor should be original i don't think it's ever been messed with uh pistons still measure stock so i'm gonna keep it that way um yeah i still got some cleaning and painting to do i got the frame the doors the hood and a couple other pieces. Well, I got the hood here. I'm probably gonna end up making one. I just pulled the measurements for this and this short hood here. Cause somebody, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, that it's quiet, but yeah. So this also has some cancer along this side here, so you can see all that. That's already broken through. So I'm probably gonna make a new hood for this one also. <clears throat> and I have, since I was measuring, I also measured this one. They're all a little different. This is an 84. I've got an 81 and a 1960 red face sitting outside. That'll be a whole nother gig. But anyway, just a little update on this guy. All right, I just picked up these two. <clears throat> uh, this guy is an 81. This one is a 1960. This is all I got of them. So the 60's missing quite a bit. Radiator, radiator shroud, carb, water pump. One plug wire been rat chewed. The R57 governor or idle control missing. It's missing the nose cone. This is just a cap off of a diesel hub I stuck on there. Uh, but this guy is a, uh, I can't read.
read it. Come on now. There we go. 4150 code and RA423451. Uh, from what I read, this is supposed to be a blue dial for that 4150 code. Um, if somebody has some information on that, that'd be greatly appreciated. This is a standard red face panel. Uh, the number right there is M8803, but that's the same for number for the red face blue dial also. And then this guy, this 81, it's uh, 8244 and 968752. <clears throat> I got a pretty good deal for these two. 81's got its doors. Uh, still has the crank start, that's kind of handy. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. Still got the original crank handle. Um, still has fluid in the radiator. This one actually turns over. Well, I can move it anyway. <laughs> I don't know, it could be locked up too. Uh, the guy I got these from bought them from an old lady whose husband passed away. And that's how he ended up with them. But this 81, just missing the hood and the battery cover you see this 60 she's missing a lot but i might be able to pull all the guts off of this 81 and put them on this 60. this guy's locked up pretty good that's full of rust the, like full to the top so this one's probably locked up like that 68 is uh, this one's missing the cover for that guy, the cover for that, and the hood, battery cover. Um, everything else is there. So both of these tanks are clean too. The, there's nothing on the inside, just a little dust, no rust. <clears throat> so these two will be a whole nother project. But like I said, if, if someone's got some information on the red face blue dial and if I have is this thing originally a red face I don't even know but like I said that 4150 code should be red face blue dial but the, the things look different I'm not 100% sure with these older ones I know they made blue dials from 59 to 62 but that's it I can't find any much any more information about it. So leave me a comment. Appreciate it. Thanks.